Today we have for you a tool unboxing setup and some testing that I've been excited about doing for years. But why has it taken a number of years for me to do? Because I can be thrifty at times. And the reality is that this tool is definitely not inexpensive, but it is high quality. I have seen it in action previously. I know it does a good job and I've been wanting to get my hands on it, but I waited until I got myself a good deal on it. I'm excited, I'm super excited, because I like cleanliness. You know what they say, cleanliness is next to godliness. And what next is the intro to today's video sponsor, VCG Construction. Head on over to our merch store, where you can get hats, sweatshirts, t-shirts, stickers. Link will be down below. So we have Makita's 18 volt times two LXT lithium ion brushless cordless robotic vacuum. This is going to be tool only. This is like an open box deal. It's product number DRC200Z. The robot vacuum is a great thing because we can let this thing run in our shop area and it's going to pick up fine particulate that would otherwise create a dusty environment that we'd have to breathe. This vacuum is going to not only make the space cleaner, it's going to make you healthier. It cleans approximately 5,380 square feet using two 5.0 batteries. Also, the robot vacuum has a three-stage cleaning system and utilizes side brushes, a main brush, and vacuum suction to ensure cleaning. It really sucks. Capacity, easily accessible, large, 5 eighths of a gallon dust box, ensures ample capacity for commercial applications. Dust management, highly efficient filtration system is designed to capture micro dust particles. This tool only includes a remote control, Boundary tape, which I'm hoping I don't have to use. Battery and charger are not included with tool only. To restrict cleaning to specified areas, use the boundary tape to prevent the vacuum from traveling into restricted zones. For increased versatility, the tool can also be powered by Makita 18 volt LXT and compact lithium ion batteries with the star symbol on the battery indicating star protection inside. Gross container size is 0.66 gallons for capacity in the vacuum. Cleaning width is eight and seven eighths of an inch. Cleaning width with side brushes is 18 and one sixteenth of an inch. Working sound, 64 decibels, not very loud. Continuous use, maximum in minutes is 200. The batteries, you know you need two 18 volt LXT batteries with this. Dimensions, it is 18 and an eighth inch by 18 and an eighth inch by seven and an eighth of an inch. Net weight with batteries are 17.2 pounds, so it's definitely not lightweight. It is cordless. Shipping weight, tool only, 21.4 pounds. This is the part I've been waiting for. I know you love the specs and specifications and all that stuff, but this is the part I've been waiting for for two reasons. I've been dying to get my hands on this vacuum, number one. Number two, this place can use a vacuum. I got a couple of charged batteries. We gonna get this set up, we gonna clean or it will clean. This is how I love it. Like, look at this thing. This thing's so cool. Like, literally so cool. I will let you know that this magnificent piece of machinery was made in Japan. We got four side brushes. We got our awesome remote control. I feel like this is probably the most overlooked Makita tool in existence. There's only one tool that Makita sells that might, might, and I'm not saying it is, could be a, slow, a, a close second. That, that's their coffee maker. You might think that I'm digging right now, like making a dig. I'm not. I love, I love a clean workspace and I love coffee. I've been waiting for this for a long time. I love robotic vacuums. I love them. I have the non-commercial version of this at home. And I've loved that because it's going to clean even when I'm too busy to clean. You know what I mean? Like we have, we have a blue nose pit bull at home that sheds and sheds and sheds. He's my little buddy, I love him so much, 
but he sheds and sheds and sheds. And what we have is we have a robotic vacuum that helps to, to get that daily hair up. Otherwise, it would be a lot bigger mess. This thing is literally beautiful. Even has a carry handle. Yo, tell me this thing isn't kill unbelievably cool. Like, look at it. Yo, look at the wheels and all. Like, this is, this is literally a giant version of my Roomba. The sensors look very similar. This front wheel looks similar. Even the spot, the drive, looks very similar. Now, here's the deal. I'm thinking this only gets two brushes. Maybe there's, you know, two spares. Now, here's the, the reality of it. The robot vacuum from Skater, it ain't, it ain't, it's not cheap. Think about how much a vacuum literally costs. A good vacuum, all right? Yes, this is expensive, but it's a very good vacuum, and you don't have to vacuum anymore. It's doing it on its own. Isn't that worth the extra money? I think that it is. We placed our two side brushes. We have screws Ooh. that have pre-applied pre thread lock. Just snug them down. There's some tape here that we're gonna remove. We'll lift it up. This is nice. It holds open this lid. We're gonna pull out this piece of foam. We're able to pull out our canister. Here's the inlet. And on top is the filter. If we pull this up, our filter will pop out. This does, this pleated filter does look, first of all, this is obviously a lot bigger than the filter uh, for my Roomba. I mean, it's literally like four times the size, number one. You'll see it does have a little, a little notch here that fits, fits in. So you orient it the right way. You wouldn't be able to reverse this. This is a one. This is a one-way filter. Maybe we should put it this direction first, then close this lid. Whoa! Look at that. This down here picks up the large, heavy debris that doesn't really require suction. Yeah. Right. Up here, if you see this port here, that's picked up in this in this hole. That particulate dust gets filtered into this box. And then that air gets filtered through the top, this top filter, and then exhausted out this hole here, out of the robot back here. Pretty ingenious. They're, they're employing suction, but also gravity. It's literally like cooking a turkey, okay? And you pull out the giblets and the neck in the, that's in the bag inside the cavity. And people that don't know might throw it away, but the people that do know, know that you make the best dressing and gravy with those extra parts, okay? It, it, this is using what's already available to you. You already have the suction, but they employ that second chamber and use the force of gravity. It's like giblets and a neck. Why wouldn't you not, why wouldn't you employ that? Makes sense. Yo, it just slides right in. This is beautiful. We literally have two fully charged 6.0 batteries. Let's let's pop the batteries on here. Makita includes this barrier tape. If we had some obstacles or things we did not want this to approach or try to vacuum, we'd set down this barrier tape. And then the sensors on the bottom of the vacuum would pick up that barrier tape, they wouldn't cross the barrier. We have the remote control. We turn the robot back on. We can either choose a zigzag or a straight line pattern. We have the timer, okay? It sets one, three, five. If it's on one, it's after one hour. If it's on three, it's after three hours. After five, it's after five hours. If you press it four times, it disengages the auto timer on. So literally this is silent mode, loud, low, off. This here is the boundary sensor button. When you enable this, this will pick up boundary tape. If you disengage it, it will disregard the boundary sensor tape. I will let you know that we have a single beater brush here. Not very stiff, okay? If you needed to take out that beater brush and clean it out, let's take off the side wheels. I don't want to try to have to force that over. 
but in a maintenance situation, right? You want to pop off this cover, and you'll see the beater brush pops right out. If you had an obstruction, and I, I know from my other robot vacuum that we'll get a lot of hair from, from my wife jammed up in here. It just picks it up. Sometimes you'll need to remove this beater brush, clean this out. The other thing is, a lot of people don't realize, well, another pickup point of hair is underneath the side brushes here, as well as in here, this directional, this little directional roller. Sometimes this will get clogged up with hair. And maybe even these. This is the thing. The cleaner you keep your robot vacuum, the side, the, the beater brush here on the sides of hair, under here, the drive wheels and these directional wheels, as well as the filter. The cleaner you keep all of that, the more frequently you clean out your canister, the more you, frequently you clean your filter, and the more you remove any lodged hair, the longer the tool's gonna last and the, and the better it's gonna operate. So when you're making an investment into a tool, that is, I mean, listen, this is the deal. I'm being honest. It's not inexpensive. But when you're investing in something like this, you want to take care of it. I know it's a vacuum cleaner that vacuums up itself, but it does require your effort to maintain it. So clean the canister and clean the filter very frequently. I would try to clean it every time you run it. And then at least once a week, I would clean out the hair underneath the side brushes, the beater brush, and under, un, under these components. We're gonna just let it run for a little while. The way, the way the floor is set up with obstacles and all. See how it does, we'll see how full the canister is. We'll give it like an hour. We're gonna run it in a zigzag pattern. We're gonna run it with suction. I'm gonna leave it audible. Watch. There is no boundaries and we have no. two fully charged 6.0 batteries. <laughs> Here's the deal with this. I made a mistake, number one. This is not a 36 volt tool. This is literally an 18 volt tool because this tool will run on one battery. It runs sequentially. You can run this with two batteries for a longer run time, or you can run this. with one battery, number one. That's number one. Number two, in the space that we're, we're, we're occupying here out front, it's about 1,500 square foot total. The robot wasn't able to access all those spots because things on the ground. There were some doorways it went into. I will let you know that at some point, it had a tough time. Once it was in an area, in through a doorway, it had a tough time sometimes finding its way back out. Now, if I left it, let it go, maybe it would have eventually made its way back out. 
but there were plenty of times where I felt like it should have headed out in that direction by a small adjustment and then what would happen was it would make a large adjustment and then be totally off course again. It was, you know, but whatever. You know, these vacuums generally work through repetition. They go over the same area a lot of times with small adjustments. I will say though, the results for running just one hour. And here's the deal. We have somebody that vacuums this area very frequently. We let the robot vacuum run for about an hour. This is what we have. In the large dust compartment, okay, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of hair and there's some wood chips and such. So a lot of times, what's great about these robot vacuums, you might think your space is really clean, but they do a, a good job of picking up stuff that you don't even think is there. Now, I think that's pretty impressive. If we open up the canister though, where the filter is, and we lift up, oh, that's the, oh, we can see inside here. So you'll see there's a whole bunch of fine particulate, and, but there's a lot of cat hair in there as well. There's some wood chips and all. But when we open up this compartment, look at all of the cat hair that was captured by this vacuum and fine particulate. This thing is awesome. And this is the reason why. If it's not captured by the HVAC unit, if it's not captured by the filter, we're breathing this. That's why I was so excited to get this robot vacuum in here. I feel like it's worth it because we're going to feel better. Our sinuses, our allergies are going to probably be dramatically improved. I think it's worth the investment in this commercial space to use this Makita vacuum. I feel like it's probably underused. I, I think that this is an awesome tool for more people than realize it, if that makes any sense. I really love this. And if you have bad allergies or you have congestion and you spend a lot of time in the workplace like I do, I want you to just find out more about this. I, I think that this would be a life investment. This is, this is in, and, I, and I'm being totally serious about this because I care about all of you and I know what it's like. I think that this vacuum cleaner, okay, is right in line with investing in a quality bed. If you're not in that train of thought, I don't think that you, you work hard enough. That's, that's the reality. You're, you spend, you know, between four and eight hours a day sleeping. You want it to be restful sleep. That's why you spend the extra money, you should spend the extra money to get good quality sleep. If you're at your job, and you're spending a strong eight, 10, 12 hours in that workplace, you want the air quality to be good. You want to give yourself every benefit and advantage to feel the best and so you can perform the best and so you can have a better life experience. That's what this is. That's what this is. This is literally from one hour of vacuuming. And if you like having improved quality of life, smash the like button. I'm very passionate about this stuff because I know what it's like to be in pain. We should be able to invest in ourselves and that's what this is. And if you like that, smash the like button. Why should you smash the like button? Because it's free for you to do, number one. It doesn't cost you a dime. You could afford the robot vacuum a little easier. It helps out the channel immensely by enabling the like button, by smashing the like button. And also, you get seven years of good luck. Leave it down in the comment section below. What is the one thing that you've purchased that you feel has added to the to improve your quality of life? I want to know. What do you think about the vacuum? I mean, look at the results. We would be breathing this otherwise. This is this is a, this is a a great investment in my book. I feel like that this is probably going to to be one of those. This is a great quality of life investment. I'm going to bang out this filter. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this thing to run again. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications throw. What? You're not subscribed yet. Smash this button here. After that,
watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.